It's a high-stakes con game that's costing the U.S. billions of dollars. People across the country are receiving past-due notices for pandemic-era small business loans they never took out. And chances are your Social Security number may be next on the list. New 6 investigator Mike Holfeld is here with this morning's schemes and ripoffs alert. You never applied for an SBA loan? Never. Gina Buker has been here before. I got a little bit nervous. In 2020, New 6 cleared her name with the SBA for a $48,000 loan. Well, that was then. This is now. April of this year, the SBA sent Gina a new past due notice for the same old loan. It's been two, three years, and I'm thinking, what? Well, New 6 contacted the SBA's regional office. On April 28th, we got results. The SBA confirming she never applied for the loan. Good feeling? Yes, a relief. It turns out Gina Buker's identity is just one of thousands linked to potential fraudulent SBA loans. It's a consequence of getting out the money faster than it should have gotten out. Michael Horowitz is the Inspector General of the U.S. Department of Justice and Chair of the Pandemic Response Accountability Committee, PRAC. In January, his team issued a bombshell fraud alert. More than 69,000 suspicious Social Security numbers were used to collect $5.4 billion in SBA emergency loans. Those 69,000 don't match. To see if your name is linked to a fraudulent loan, go to pandemicoversight.gov. Mike Holfeld, Getting Results, News 6.